got this closed trailer to keep my four-wheeler in it, uh, which is cool, except for I'm trying to trickle charge it and I have no place to plug it in. Saw several YouTube videos on uh, putting outlets inside of these trailers. It's just basically an aluminum trailer with a you know wood wall. The problem that I saw was that uh, you know whenever you're cutting through this tin outside, there's no place that basically flexes. So there's not really any reinforcement there unless you go here, but then you're cutting through a pillar. But uh, so instead of doing that, I'm planning on cutting through the floor. So I ended up buying this plug adapter, which uh, basically cut round hole and uh, drop it. Oh, can't get that one in. And then basically mount that in the floor. So what I'm planning on doing is just kind of mount it right back here in the floor in between. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, I saw somebody else do this. Um, they did it through the sidewall also. Might be a little more of a pain to uh, kind of plug it in from the underside of the trailer, but I don't think it'll be too bad. So that's my kind of thought right there is to uh, kind of get underneath, drill a hole through one of these, and then, uh, yeah, just kind of pop it through. And then of course I'll have to, you know, not look and be able to plug it in. So, I think it'd be that big a deal. But I think it'd be better than going through the side here where there's no support. Let's see what all we got in here. One thing I don't know is what size hole do I need to cut to actually uh, put this thing in there. Hopefully it says that. A couple screws. And uh, good thing about this is I should be able to pop this off and that should keep it nice and dry whenever I'm not using it. What's going on, girly? Come in. Good girl. But that should protect it whenever I'm not uh, using it. And uh, nice good seal there and then pop that back on. Good to go. in the description but uh, looks like you drill a two inch hole and uh what are you doing girl you need some love these are the tools that i think i need Use this to run a pilot hole through, go check it on the inside, make sure I've got enough clearance, and then the hole saw, two inch hole saw to be able to uh, cut through the floor the rest of the way, and then that should pop right in. We'll see. All right, looking underneath here, I'm gonna run a pilot hole in. These are the two bolts on uh, the inside. So I'm basically gonna line up the outside of the two inch hole with where I'm gonna drill. Should be about right there ish. Let's see, maybe a little closer. Let me get it closer to that wall just a little bit. That's the beauty of a pallet hole is you run it through and you see where you pop out. So oh, let's see. How close did I get? Huh? That looks pretty good. That's it right here. It's a little... I might want to get a little closer to the edge than that. So I don't think that's going to quite be close enough to the wall. So I'm going to slide it in just a little bit that way. Got the second hole lines up. <sighs> Alright, so there it is right there. That's the first one and that's the second hole. And uh, basically, I want it dead center over this right there. So that's not where I want it. Let's just look and see where this hole, how big it would be. So if I ran that through there. Yeah, that looks 
the right amount of space. I basically want this to be up out of the way so I don't run over it too much. I think that'd be pretty good. All right, time to cut the hole. Let's find the center of the second pilot hole. All right, so I've kind of put the drill bit right in the center. I guess my cheap drill bit is uh, not cutting very well. That sucks. Huh. Well, maybe I need to go get a bigger drill bit and run a pilot hole through there. Yep, that doesn't want to go in. It's basically smoking. Not really cutting at all. I'm trying to do this from the top. It'd probably be easier. Piece of wood. I guess that's two pieces of plywood. I guess. Huh? It's cutting, but it's cutting slow. There we go. Boop. Uh oh, lost everything. Nice. It's through though. All right, it popped on through. Oop, uh, I guess I pushed a little too hard and it broke through, but it's all right. It's on the bottom side, no big deal. Looks pretty good. Oh man, that's nice. Not too in the way. I'm gonna kind of turn this this way so that uh, the cord goes towards the wall. Is the idea? Uh, can't really do it one-handed, but something like that. Out of the way. Yeah, it's not too bad. The plywood is half inch in the floor of my trailer, and uh, the, uh, the outlet itself is just a little bit taller than a half an inch, so it pokes up just a little bit, but not bad. Run these screws in there, and uh, should be good to go. All right, uh, put that cable pointing towards the wall and I should just be able to screw it in. All right, ran all the screws in and uh, seems to be uh, nice and tight. Very good. Didn't tighten it down too much. And uh, the idea is uh, I just kind of plug it in here and then uh, should have juice on the inside now. We'll see. Moment of truth. Let's see. Oh. All right, it's charging, and uh, the alignment's pretty good. I think the uh, next thing that I want to do is probably mount on the wall up here, um, like a uh, power strip or something, just kind of out of the way. But. 
that will be fine for now. That will charge the uh, four-wheeler, keep the battery nice. All right, yeah, I think that's going to work pretty good. The drop cord's out of the way, rain won't get in it, and uh, yeah, definitely like the idea of running it through the floor better than uh, through these soft panels and then finding some way to support it. And then I should just be able to reach up underneath here and uh, plug it in and pop that little plastic cap over it whenever I'm not using it. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Let me think, uh, let me uh, know what y'all think about it and uh, you know, if you found a better way to do this. Uh, I think that's, uh, this'll be good enough for me.